What's going on guys, Brandon Arden here. Hope you're having a great day. It's currently about half seven right now and we're just outside Elite Fitness in Redditch about to go and train back. Now I'm really excited about this session because this gym has some crazy, crazy equipment and I used to train here all the time but when I moved to Worcester like I obviously couldn't come down here because it was too far to drive but I'm excited about this session. I was meant to be training with my friend Fabian but he couldn't get down here due to work so we rescheduled for the weekend and he's a really good guy and I'm really excited to work out with him. So today... I'm gonna be concentrating mainly on deadlifts because I haven't dedicated a full session to like, or like most of a session to deadlifts for a while now. So I just thought, you know what, today is the day. And then as far as like the rest of my workout goes, there's no part that I really wanna like isolate. There's, I don't wanna work on like upper or lower. I kinda just wanna train the, the whole entirety of my back. I don't wanna like isolate a single section out, which is what I usually do. But today I wanna like annihilate the whole of my back. I'm just drinking my pre-workout, my caffeine kick. We're about to go inside and start the workout. Okay then guys, just got in the gym, I'm gonna warm up with a few reps. I'm just 20 kg each side, walked in the gym, it's already set up for us. And then we're gonna go two plates, three plates, four plates, and maybe five plates. Let's go. messed it up it was almost like slipping out my hands like i gotta think about my grip as well as like keeping my form straight and like lifting this way off the ground but like i don't know leave it one more go if i don't get it it's not the end of the world we'll kill the rest of the workout attempt number two it's just not going up today like it's just one of them days i've done it before but today it's just not getting up off the ground i'm not gonna make excuses for it i'm just not strong enough today but when I've done it before, I've always had chalk on my hands, but I just felt it slipping. And as soon as you're like kind of in the mind, feel it coming out of your hands, you lose hope and it goes and you kind of just give up. You can't help it, but I guess that's kind of what happened today. But like I said, I'm not making excuses. It is what it is. I wasn't strong enough today, but we're going to kill the rest of the workout. Let's go. Okay then guys, just finished the workout, did a single burnout set of pull-ups, just finished off the workout. I sometimes do that if like I'm having a good workout and I feel good and I feel like I can do more. I finish it with a set of pull-ups, just as many as I can do. We've got 10, not many at all, but we're gonna head back now and get some food. I think my mom has made fajitas. Now fajitas is like one of my favorite foods, like favorite Mexican foods. I love all Mexican food, like burritos, fajitas, tacos. Pretty much anything like Mexican, like that sort of thing, like wraps with chicken in, is like amazing. 
and she's made some, she's made her own guacamole as well. So I'm excited about that. So we're gonna head back now and have some fajitas. My mom made this stuff earlier and like packaged it all away, so I'm gonna make it myself, but fajitas in general, they're actually not that bad for you and they taste so good. But like, the only thing that is bad for you is the bread because like bread in general, like has nothing in it to contribute to creating a good physique like it's just like starch and the starch sits on like the lower part of your stomach which basically just like makes your abs invisible but right now we're about to make them we've got the the zero abs wraps right there and then in the fridge we have the cheese which is also like not that good for you <laughs> the chicken and the peppers which is a great source of protein and peppers is just like it's a vegetable it's good for nutrients we have the homemade guacamole and avocado in general is one of the best sources of necessary fats so we've got a little bit of that left and then finally we have the salsa Okay, so I just finished making the fajita. I'll probably have one more though because we've got enough chicken and like one more wrap left, so I'll probably have another one. But like I said, fajitas aren't that bad for you. Chicken is one of the best protein sources. Red meat's better to have after a workout, but chicken is like, it's still one of the best protein sources. Avocado is great for essential fat. We've got peppers, we've got onions, we've got onions in the guac, just vegetables, it's like good nutrients. And the only thing that's bad is just like cheese, which I don't even have that much cheese and the bread. So if you're the sort of person that's having like toast in the morning for breakfast, when breakfast is one of the most important meals of the day, you're actually gaining like nothing from it because it's like, it's not really nutritionally valuable, especially if you're putting like jam and butter on the toast to make it more like flavorsome. You're gaining nothing from it. And like I said, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So you need to be having a great source of protein. I personally have eggs and oats or I have like a, a bowl mix of like, some Greek yogurt, some peanut butter, some fruits, and like a scoop of whey protein and just mix it all together. But like I said, bread just isn't good for you and I don't really have it that much, so this isn't gonna like impact me that much. Just if you wanna build a good physique, like just kinda cut down on the starch a little bit because it's not helping you out, I promise. It's really not. But right now, I'm gonna eat this. I'll probably make another one and I'll have it with just a bottle of water. I'm actually trying to make it a habit to have a bottle of water with every meal because like your body's made up of 70% water. And if you do drink a lot of water throughout the day, you flush all the bad toxins out of your body, which is like a good thing to do. And if you want to create a good physique, you need to be drinking a lot of water because your muscles are also 70% water. So if you want to build some good muscle, you need to be consistently drinking water. And the reason I don't drink water out of the tap is because there's that much pollution in tap water these days. You're trying to make a point of flushing all the bad toxins out of your body but by drinking tap water, you're almost like just putting new ones back in there, so it's just not good for you. So that's pretty much just the reason I drink bottled water. You can have filtered water, like you can have the water out of the tap and just like filter it if you've got a filter system, or just like, if you get one of these in your fridge, it just doesn't work, like, it, it just doesn't work, so I have to use bottled water. Okay, so I've never done this before, but I just thought I'd show you guys what I look like after a full day of like consuming food, weighing at 92 kg. These are my abs, not tensed, versus, <laughs> Tensed. This is what my arms look like. My arms never really like gain a ton of weight. They kind of just like stay moderately lean. But this is what my arms look like. I'll try to do my back. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but this is what my shoulders look like. And yeah, this is pretty much it. I don't know what time. <laughs> I actually hate the fact that I have a hairy chest because it's so annoying to keep on shaving it. But this is like, I shaved it a day ago and it's already grown back. It's about one o'clock in the morning right now and I'm just trying to find some music for today's video. The song you would have already listened to over the workout. But basically, to make sure that I'm allowed to use it, I upload the music to a monetized fake channel and then I'll see if it's monetized and that'll tell me if I'm allowed to use it, but basically, this is what I've done. I've uploaded it right here with a really low quality video. So it uploads really fast. I'll publish it right now, video manager. And as you can see, the song I've picked is allow me to use it because this one I used before includes copyright content. And this is a song that I couldn't use, but this one I should be good for today. But that's just a message to any YouTubers watching this video to show you how to like, make sure that your music is not gonna like demonetize your videos, but I think that's it for today's video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, give it a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.